Hello, um, I'm hoping you're going to enjoy this week's video. Um, I'm working from a uh, photo I took in Cornwall and what I want to show you this week is how to be free and expressive and sketch quickly. Practice from your photographs but when you go out on site, when you're on holiday, you know you can kind of get something done within a few minutes and then you can work from that. Um, it's nice to capture the free, uh, expressive feeling of a painting that you're doing this way. Um, I won't be talking because I'm working quite quick and intuitive in the first part and there will be text on the um, up for you to follow. So, let's have fun. Hello. <clears throat> for this painting this week I'm just going to do a very simple coastline from one of my photographs of Cornwall. Okay. I have my stretch paper marked out ready and see that your mount covers the lines.
it's a few days later and I've left this painting to dry and here's a photo I worked from. I enjoyed this project because I made myself work quick and sketchy which is a nice uh, discipline to try out. Only thing is I'm not sure how I feel about this painting and we very often do that once it's dry we don't quite know how we feel so I'm offering my mount up to have a look and now I'm going to turn it round ready to work on and I feel I feel like look at the parts that you're happy with give yourself time I'm happy with the blue and the way this has run and produced a lovely um, kind of distant edge to the cliffs that this is a bit indistinct but I quite like it allow yourself to appreciate what the materials have done for you this is lively happy um, that's how I feel so my thoughts on this now what I'd like to do I think it's these areas here and here they just need to hold together I feel that's a little pale and you don't have to be a slave to your photo but use it for guidance <coughs> you see that is tonally a little bit more dark than that one so what I'm going to do now is play and try not to be too hard on myself and I'm going to mix up I've got this little cheap palette that I keep um, I love to teach people to make lots of greens from these three basic colours and this palette is rather sludgy and dirty and that would do for that to bring that in so I've got little bits where I've mixed greens and I'm just going to play and experiment with the colours. Just going to try the colour on a bit of scrap paper. That's a bit too blue for me. So, what do I do? I add a little bit of burnt sienna just to warm that up a bit. I just want it to look earthy and like the ground. A little bit dull for my liking. Let's have a bit more lemon. Remember, it is a spring picture. We've come in there, but it's a little bit too definite. I just want it to be a little bit more um, subtle. So, don't rush your colour mixing. Get into a habit of enjoying your colour mixing and testing. I know what it's like when you get excited and enthusiastic. You want to crack on with it. But um, you will get into a good habit with it, because it will bring the rewards you want. So... I'm not sure about that. Let's have a look. I know this is just a photo uh, on photocopy paper, but it'll give you an idea. I'm thinking when that dries, it may be okay. So I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to keep my, there's my brush with the colour on, and I'm going to keep a clean brush in case I need to just spread it about a bit more. So. Referring to my photograph just loosely, it's about what happens in the painting that matters. So, I've got a darker one there. I'm going to put a bit more here, coming into those rocks. Actually, the rocks do, the greyness does blend with the green. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this, but that's okay. Don't panic. Allow it time to dry. Okay, so we've got that sunlight on that distant hill there. It's not a sunny picture there, but we're making it. Um, this is a nice part of the creative process. I'm thinking this is a bit heavy, so I'm just going to lift off. Because it is in the distance, and the distance, distant colours are very... They're not as bold as the ones in the foreground. And now, I like this. This is beautiful with the wax texture. See, with this texture, it saves you doing lots of detail and you get a natural sort of feel as well. So we've got that going into there. I may add a little bit more dark in there just to make that green show up a bit more. Right, that's rather indistinct there. We'll leave that because we want to look into the picture. And I feel like I may want to do a very light 
lemony yellow. That's part of my pick, uh, my mix. Just the three colours and just a bit more lemon yellow in there. Uh, just to cheer up this front part. So you've got the dark going there. And shall I paint this green? I don't know. Never mind. If I don't like it, I'll take it off when it's dry. Oh, look. And now I know that's a cauliflower, but it's working wonderful there, isn't it? Now, I feel like that's sitting together, together a lot happier. Um, look how lovely the pink works here. Um, I'm not so sure about this sand here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add I've got a little bit of raw sienna mixed up in a, another palette. And I'm just going to drop that in just to get it to sit together. Now it looks a bit bright now, but when it's dry, it'll probably sit in okay. Rock, it's almost day glow now. <laughs> and we'll have that coming round there. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about this now. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. It's a really emotional pro. Um, it's a, a really emotional process at times um, but still that's what it is I mean you get your professionals have the same heartaches they look all wonderful and perfect but it's through years of doing it's about the doing I think and it's about you're moving forward even though you might be making something you're not very happy at with some days at least you're getting on and doing and I say it's all about the doing okay then let's have a look with the mount I'm feeling a lot more cheerful now and let's have a look mm, hangs together better that's a bit powerful there um, may lift that up a little let's see just soften that a little not so dominant in the distance Remember, you've got a dark cliff there. That is quite dark. Okay, then, I'm going to let that dry and hopefully I shall feel that it's finished. 